Hi, and welcome to EL Civic Solutions in Burlington English. My name is Grace Flores, and I am the customer manager here in Central California. I'm so glad you could join us, and trust me, you're in exactly the right place if you're looking for EL Civics materials. Our curriculum designers have created a wealth of materials perfectly suited for EL Civics here in California. And we've tried very hard to make it as easy as possible to find those materials to support your students. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, I'm sure you all know, and if you don't, I'm here to tell you just how amazing our courses and our features are in Burlington English. But today we're going to be specifically focused on EL Civics and where in, Berlin, in Burlington you can quickly and easily find those materials. In fact, that is our first topic today, finding EL Civics objectives. Secondly, we'll take a look at how to locate and our lesson plans in Burlington. Not only do we provide you with the actual materials to use, but we have designed this roadmap for each lesson specifically within Burlington Core Series. So you can pop up a lesson plan and get to work immediately with your students. Thirdly, if you'd like to use the search feature within Burlington Core to find those topics your program is focusing on this year, we'll show you how to do just that by using the searching for specific topics. And then finally, we'll be taking a tour of our EL Civics lesson and taking a sneak peek so that you can see just how rich and in-depth each lesson is. Let's go. One of the greatest things about Burlington's web-based courses is that everything I share with you today is accessible on any device. If you or your students are working on computers, laptops, Chromebooks, tablets, or a smartphone, you will find a wealth of materials in Burlington. Now, not only can you use those resources for on any device, but we've also designed the materials to support you, whether you're learning completely online, in a hybrid, in a flex model, or if you're back in some classrooms. Burlington um, was developed over the years, what we call our in-class lessons. When we were back in our classrooms, yeah, those rooms that are kind of empty for a while or have been empty for a while or only with us for a while. Um, these were the lessons that teachers could project up on their boards and the teacher could teach using these as their foundation. If you're lucky enough to be in your classroom or back in the classroom, you can absolutely continue using those lessons in that manner. However, if you're teaching online or working with students on Zoom, Microsoft Teams, or any other sharing platform, you can share your screen and use the lessons with your students there. Now, once um, you've taught the lesson using those in-class lessons, Burlington also has independent lessons that are a great way for students to continue their study. And these are our student lessons. They're a great way to reinforce and review vocabulary, grammar, and structures that were taught in those in-class lessons. And Burlington also provides an amazing report system. It will show you how your students are doing, how much time they're spending and working on these in-class lessons. Today, we're going to take a look at one course and a lesson, but here are the three complete series that all incorporate EL Civics materials and resources. First, we have Burlington Core. It's our newest, most comprehensive core curriculum that includes all four skills, 
grammar and integrates important life skills, digital literacy, and EL civics. And, we're, and we currently have six levels to match the NRS levels as well. We also have English in America. It was designed specifically to support the most, the 16 most commonly assessed EL civics objectives here in California. It includes topics like diversity, digital, digital literacy, and healthcare, just to name a few. And of course, let's talk integrated EL civics with a strong focus on getting and getting a job and keeping a job, that's exactly why we design career exploration and soft skills. Now, each course in Burlington has a lot of resources to support you. So let's take a look at the planning part of your day. We have created this course and lesson planner tab to help you find all of those EL Civics lessons. You will enter this tab to get to our correlations. So under the general course um, information, we have correlation section, which includes all of our state correlations. This is where you can quickly jump to this document that shows where all our California EL Civics objectives are covered. This provides teachers with a great way to maximize their instruction with their students. Now, we also went one step further by creating this comprehensive EL Civics locator, which identifies each approved EL Civics objective and shows all of the great Burlington content that supports those objectives. This includes not only the 231 EL Civics objectives, but we have highlighted here in blue those new 243 EL Civics objectives. If you're interested in um, having a closer look at this document, please reach out to us and using our contact information at the end of this presentation, and we would be more than happy to provide this for you. Now that we've, well, now that we've looked at where to find our EL Civics objectives, um, let's start planning. And we're gonna have to plan for these lessons, right? To locate these lesson plans for any of our lessons, um, our lesson plans are located in the course and lesson planner tab as well in any of, for any of the level of core that you may be teaching. Today, we're gonna take a closer look at module 10, Lesson one, listen and speak election day. And here it is. It's the easiest start to your day. It, your very own lesson plan. I'll give you a second to take a look at it. Every single Burlington Core lesson will include a plan just for you. This is a helpful document. It accepts that roadmap that I mentioned earlier for your teachers to navigate the rich EL Civics content in each lesson. In the lesson plan, you'll find a breakdown of key vocabulary, pacing options, and correlations. This is a multi-page document um, and it includes all of those lesson goals. The pacing options are very helpful for teachers so they can get an idea of just how much time they should be spending on a lesson and even how much time students may be spending on those independent lessons. Remember, join us on Friday if you want to dig deeper into these lessons and we can show you everything they have to offer. Now, perhaps the quickest way um, to locate EL Civics focused lessons is with this search feature. Now it's located at the page under the green in-class lesson tab and it will open all the modules in the level of core. At the top of the screen, you will find this search bar and then this, there's this pull down menu, which includes lesson types, 
correlations, workplace readiness, EL civics, life skills, and education and training. You can either select to highlight those lessons or use the filter. And then after that, uh, hit apply to find those lessons that you're looking for. And we're gonna be focusing on EL civics. We're highlighting it and we're applying it. And here it is. We use the highlight feature so you can see the results that were displayed. As you can see in this session, we're gonna be focusing again on that module 10, lesson one, a lesson on election day, which we're gonna be exploring a little bit more next. This is the first page of module 10, lesson one. So on this page, you'll see the get ready one, which introduces topics, objectives for the lesson. And this is just shows some great pictures for teachers to use with students. Now, these pictures really could be utilized by teachers to elicit some conversations with their students, get them ready as this page indicates for that lesson that's going to be covered. Things like, have you ever been voting? Have, what was your experience like? Are you interested in voting? What are the steps needed to vote? All of those questions using these pictures could really elicit a very rich conversation that can help students as they move throughout this lesson. In addition to this get ready, we also have vocabulary focus that can be taught in rich context. Um, really covering the vocabulary that's going to be needed and focused on throughout the lesson. The students will also have a listen section, which they will be using to predict, listen to some audio, and then answer the questions based on what they were listening to. They also have a speak section in this lesson. Again, an opportunity to role play some speaking parts where students can interact with each other, just get even using that vocabulary that was just previously taught or covered or addressed in context. Again, some more vocabulary focus. And then my favorite part of this lesson, which is the review game. Now, this is a very fun game that we have at the end of the lesson. It could be a connect four, a spin the wheel, or a variety of other games. And these can be used by the teacher by splitting the class in two, um, putting them in teams, and then just really using it to maybe review what was covered at the end of the lesson. Or I've also seen teachers use these at the beginning of a lesson to kind of connect what was taught previously and really show that what they know and connect it to what they're going to be learning for the next day. So just a variety of ways that these can be used and a great way for teachers to have students involved and interactive with each other. So once you have completed your in-class lesson, you will direct your students to these student lessons, which is their independent work online um, for these student lessons. In the same module and lesson that was taught in that in-class lesson. So as you can see here, these lessons are really um, developed to complement those in-class lessons, but they are not an exact replica of that in of that in-class lesson. This page also shows just how the students um, can use that same format that was taught before to navigate through the new lesson, their independent lesson. Um, again, they are going to have a focus on vocabulary, listen, speak, and a little bit more vocabulary for them. We're going to take a little deeper dive into this speak page here. So this is that speak page that we have here that we went into on that same lesson. And these are great speaking opportunities, which are very unique to Burlington. Students always have opportunities to practice their pronunciation speaking skills within, within an entire conversation, complete with immediate feedback within these here after they've recorded, and then their overview score here on this page. These dialogues include vocabulary and syntax covered in the lesson and students can 
for themselves in each role and also listen to themselves um, after they've gone through the recording portion of it. And this is a great page because it's not just a one and done. They can select different characters so they have different responses and different dialogue to practice. They can also select this continuous option or go to a non-continuous option. I tend to find that students like the non-continuous as an easier step into the recording and as if they have found some um, strategies and feel more comfortable within that recording, then they can select to hit the continuous option. And then just an added um, difficulty is to, if they're going to hide the text or have the text visible. Again, many opportunities to record at different levels of difficulty, depending on where they are and how they can move throughout that um, conversation and that speak. These are great for those um, lessons that, or those um, co-ops that require role play and dialogue between teachers and students. Just a great opportunity for them to practice that. Now, one of the most amazing features with all of our Burlington Core um, courses is our unique speech trainer. This speech trainer provides targeted, individualized instruction. It's broken down into these four components, and each of these is very unique in how they're going to assist students. Not only could they listen to their own pronunciation errors and compare them to how they should be saying or what, how they could improve their pronunciation, they will also watch a very detailed video teaching them how to place their tongue, how to, um, the mechanics of correcting a pronunciation. They'll have an opportunity to even listen to those sounds and distinguish between those pronunciations, knowing that maybe it's a sound that's not heard in their mother tongue. So an opportunity to kind of tone their ear and train their ear to listen to those sounds. And then an opportunity again to practice recording and working on that pronunciation. So again, speech trainer, an amazing tool for those individualized instructions or individualized attention to each student for their pronunciation. So let's go ahead and review what we covered today. Um, we went through finding EL Civics objectives. We found located our lesson plans and took a little look at our lesson plan. But again, it's a multi-page document. Um, also, we took um, some time to find how to search for those EL Civics objectives within Burlington Core, and we took a quick tour of our um, in-class lessons as well as our student lesson, some of the features found in those student lessons as well. Don't forget, join us on Friday to dive deeper into any area that we covered today. It, it will be a great opportunity to ask questions. It's in a live platform where you, I myself will be there and a couple of other team members ready and willing to answer any questions you may have or to take a moment to dive deeper into any of the components that were shared today or others that you may be interested in. We are, um, a great group of people. And one of the most amazing parts of Burlington is our people and the best of everything we have to offer. Um, we are willing and able to help you out and find that EL Civics plan you're looking to develop. Um, on this slide, you can find also our contact information. So please just let us know how we can assist you and your students. Thank you. It was great to see you all today in this format. And I can't wait until we're all together planning and choosing EL Civics topics for our year. Until that time, don't hesitate to reach out and find out just how we can help you. Thank you again. And I hope to see you on Friday. Bye-bye.